A political crisis is swirling around now, not just Virginia's governor, but now the lieutenant governor, who faces an uncorroborated assault allegation dating back to 2004. It's a claim he vehemently denies. This morning, increasing chaos at the Virginia Capitol. The governor and the man who would replace him both under fire. Democratic Governor Ralph Northam refusing to resign, despite mounting pressure. Well, you know, I think we are given a second chance. We're not condemning him as an individual. What we're saying is he, at this time, is not fit to serve as governor. After multiple meetings with his closest advisors and staff, Northam says he needs more time to decide whether he'll stay in office or step down, according to a source. Officials nearly unanimous in their demands that he call it quits over that racist yearbook photo. A photo Northam originally apologized for, but later said was not him. I was mad as hell. And when you heard him say that he wasn't the man in that photo, how did that make you feel? I was even more angry because he had told me the day before that it was him and he had apologized. And so, you know, the flip flop is what bothered me. State lawmakers looking for a way out, taking impeachment off the table. And obviously on impeachment, that's a very high standard. Uh, and so I think that's why we have called for the resignation. Northam's would be successor, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, stopping short of calling for him to step aside. I believe that uh, I'm in a unique position, uh, obviously, uh, as Lieutenant Governor and uh, someone who would uh, have to you know, assume that office uh, in the event that he were to resign. And so I have to be very uh, circumspect. But now Fairfax is facing new troubles of his own. After an uncorroborated sexual assault accusation against him emerged Monday, dating back to the Democratic National Convention in 2004. Does anybody think it's any coincidence that on the eve uh, of potentially uh, my being elevated, that that's when this uncorroborated smear comes out? Does anybody believe that's a coincidence? It's uncorroborated because it's not true. So, Jeff, as we just heard there, Virginia's House Speaker has called for Northam to step down but says he won't try to impeach him. Why not? Yeah. A couple of reasons for that. First, it's extraordinarily difficult to impeach a governor in Virginia. There is no modern day precedent for it. The Virginia House Speaker also says he doesn't think the photo in question meets the state constitutional standard for removal from office. But look, it's also true that the Virginia House Speaker is a Republican, so it suits his purposes. It suits his party's purposes to have a wounded Democrat hanging around in the governor's mansion, at least for a little while longer.